Hello YouTube, it's Karen from Gamers Tech here and I'm back. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a recap on a video I'd done a while back. Uh, it was a look, uh, it was the first look at my setup. Now, my setup has changed quite a lot since then. So let's not hold off, let's get right into it with my keyboard. I can't freaking see because that light is very bright. Um, yeah, this is my keyboard. It's um, yeah, it's purple for a start. Um, yeah, it's a BT Yahoo keyboard. My granddad gave me it. Basically, I, I really don't see the point in spending a hundred and whatever amount of money on a gaming mechanical keyboard when this thing actually works pretty damn well. I mean, for what it is, I mean, it was free, so you know. I ain't complaining. Bloody hell, it is dirty. Um, yeah, that there is the remote control for my light. Uh, yeah, I got one of them uh, Aura Glow LED remote control light bulb things. They are absolutely shit. Really, they are just crap. In the sense that they're not very bright. They they don't light up very much space. I've not got a very big room, by the way. I've not got like a mansion suite or anything. That's on full brightness. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't light up very much, but it's good for like mood lighting. That there is a uh, a leap motion uh, motion um, control doodah thing. Uh, basically, you can it senses all your fingers and your hands and stuff. It can sense all your fingers, so ten fingers in total. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. I think it's seventy quid or something. Uh, about $120 or something like that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it is something like that. Uh, it was really cool. Um, this is the developer version. Um, yeah. That's the dev kit model, which is why I'm using the cable from Amazon Kindle, which I don't actually use anymore. But the um, commercial uh, retail release actually has a better... It's a bit better. It's got a bit better range and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That is my microphone that I use for recording stuff. Um, that is a screwdriver in a bag. Why is that there? I didn't know it's there. Ah, that's uh, more fan screws. Wonderful. I've been looking for some more of them. Uh, yeah. I'll look at, uh, yeah. That is my surround sound. Um, say Philips uh, 600 watt 5.1 um, surround sound home theater system. You know, it's got. Um, uh, HD upscaling for DVDs, it's not a Blu-ray player, um, although I did have Blu-rays at one point until my PlayStation died. Uh, yeah, it's really, really quite good for its price. It was only 130 quid compared to 250 or something I would have paid for a Blu-ray model, which basically is just HD, which doesn't bother me really, because really, most of the movies I can just watch fine. And that are, they are my Scotty Dogs, uh, yeah. Technically, they're Westies, uh, West Highland Terriers. Uh, that's co-pilot. That's the other guy. That's what I call them. Don't judge me. That's the remote for that thing, and that is a subwoofer. Well, no, there's a bottle in front of it, but that's yeah, that's a sub. It's I think it's a six. No, it's not six inch. I think it's about. I think it's a ten inch sub or something like that. Eight inch, ten inch, something about that. And it's pretty damn good. That is my TP Link. Um, Network switch, yes, I do use wired network, not wireless. Um, I'll get onto that in a second. Got one, two, three, one up there somewhere, and one over there. That's the speakers from a surround sound. So that's the surround sound system. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's my mouse. That's uh, it's Microsoft. It's one of these. Um, yeah. My mum got it with her computer and I gave her my mouse and switched it for this one because my mouse that I had before was one of them Microsoft Blue Track things and I couldn't um, when I was playing Arma 2 I couldn't um, aim some of my weapons or in Gmod I couldn't aim some of my weapons and fire them at the same time which was annoying because it was just like one solid bit at the top. That's the remote from a TV which I'll get onto now actually. This is my TV. I only got it yesterday. Or, well, that's the picture on the screen. Anyway, you can't actually see the TV for some reason. 
It's a Samsung. And it's one of them fancy ass ones with smart TV things. I got a Samsung smart TV yesterday. Um, my mum bought me it because my granddad's TV that I was using, uh, he wanted it back. So mum bought me a smart TV. Um, yeah. And that is a bullet casing that I got from a farmer because I found a loaded shotgun shell. Uh, yeah, I shit you not. Me and my mate were walking through a field and we actually found an unfired shotgun shell. Yep. So I handed it to the farmer and he gave us a... a um, what kind is it? Let's see. It is... a .22 uh, center fire, I think it is. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. That's my second monitor. It's an Emprex 19 inch monitor. Nothing special, just just there so I can listen to my music and have it on screen at the same time. Yeah. And behind that is my computer. She is a beast. Uh, there's an aerial on top of it. There is a reason for that. Not a valid reason, but a reason nonetheless. A bundle of cables behind there, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you want to see this, but there's all the ports on the arse of my TV. It has, it has optical audio out. Two HDMI's. Uh, yeah, and a really weird placement for headphone port for some reason. I have no idea. And it's got an infrared out for an infrared extender for the thing and stuff. Yeah, it does things and stuff. And it's got USB ports on the side. It has two USB ports on the side that seem exactly the same. I'm one of them CI ports that I have no idea what they do. Yeah. Here she is. Yeah. I have nice blue fans in the front and the side and the top. I'm gonna have some in the back, or one in the back eventually, at some point. But yeah. She's got sapphire graphics. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's an Antec 1100 uh, computer case, which, if you're looking for a case that is very expandable and has a big ass window in the side look no further than the Antec 1100 and it's not that bad it's not that badly priced either it's only you know, I paid 75 quid for my one brand new off Amazon which I thought was a pretty good deal yep same old same old with the DVD player just simple DVD writer burner rewriter thing got my 12 gigs of RAM in there there's a cable in the way, damn you cable. Uh, behind that big red thing, the fan, <laughs> yeah. it's got an AMD Bulldozer FX6100, 6 cores, 3.3 gigahertz, it's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, all the fans bar the one at the top and the one in the back that you can see is not actually running, are actually Cooler Master Sickle Flow fans, including actually the one in the power supply. Which you can see down there. I don't know if you can read the label, but it is actually uh, an Alpine 750 watt power supply. Pretty good for 20 quid. Yeah. Over there, um, somewhere, I think you can see it there. That is my graphics card, or the underside of it. Anyway. It's a Sapphire uh, Radeon HD 50, 5450 my No, I'm 50. 7770, sorry, um, gigahertz edition with the VaporX cooler, which is pretty damn cool. Um, you can see a mess of cables in there as well. I have got to get some gear to do some cable management. It's also got, you know, the normal uh, 500 gig Western Digital drive that I've always had. Um, the same drive, actually, that I got like three computers ago. Uh, it's got now three more drives in it but only one of them are actually connected because I don't have enough cables but I've got enough cables just none of them are long enough um, yeah it's got a 320 gig Western Digital Drive you can see uh, um, yeah there seems to be a theme developing here there's only one drive in this computer that's not uh, Western Digital at least hard drive wise anyway uh, it's got a 320 gig one I use that for storing my music and stuff um, that's actually running on uh, IDE, which uh, 
for those of you who don't know what it is, it was used in older computers for connecting shit that stored stuff. Um, it also has a 250 gig Western Digital uh, laptop hard drive, uh, two, uh, two and a half inch drive from a PlayStation. It's actually from my PS3 that died, unfortunately. But yeah. And it's also got a 160 gig hard drive out of my Lenovo laptop, which was actually an upgraded drive. Um, the original drive out of that laptop was a 60 gig hard drive. I think that's the only one that's not a Western Digital. I think it's a Seagate drive, which, you know, they're not bad, not bad. Um, there's only about, there's only three hard drive manufacturers I would ever honestly go for with no question of a doubt, and that would be, obviously Western Digital would be my first choice, but they're not the cheapest, I and mean, they're not the most expensive, that's for damn sure, but they're not the cheapest, but in my eyes they are the best. I just prefer Western Digital over anything else. But I would go for either Seagate or a Max Tor drive as well, I do trust them too. Um, maybe Samsung, but mm, I don't know. I mean, I know Samsung is like right up in there with all the electronics. God, I mean, I've got a freaking Samsung smart TV, and it is cool as balls. But yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that is my setup at the moment. Oh yeah, I've got my Xbox over there as well, without no TV connected. Uh, I just moved this uh, the TV over here because that is the reason I got it, so I could use it as a monitor. Yeah, I bought a smart TV to use it as a monitor. Why didn't I just buy a monitor? Because it's a TV as well. If I get a better aerial, I could get TV on it. You're probably thinking, why don't you just get Sky? We have Sky in this house. It's just I never get to watch it. But yeah, anywho. That's a rant for another day. But, um, you know the drill. Comment, rate, subscribe. A like would be awesome, a favourite would be Beast. I am Callum from Gamerstech, clocking out. Ciao.